The pound tumbled and so did shares on stock markets across Asia. With no clear strategy ahead for the UK, there's more uncertainty around the corner. A weaker pound is good for some of us here in Asia, especially if you're looking to go on holiday in the UK or study there. But it's not been good news for all of Asia's currencies. The Japanese yen, for instance, soared to 100 yen against the US dollar on Friday as investors sold the pound and bought safe haven currencies like the yen. Japan needs the yen to stay weak so that it can sell more of its goods overseas. Many businesses had set up their regional headquarters in London to access the rest of the EU. But now with Brexit, they may have to decide whether to stay or go. Asia will now have to sign free trade agreements directly with the UK instead of through the EU as it's been doing for several years. Now some countries have already indicated that they're willing to do this. Malaysia, for instance, has said it's inclined to begin discussions. But it may not be so easy for others in the neighborhood. China, for instance, has been attempting to sign a free trade agreement with the EU for several years, and London has been one of its biggest backers. But now, because of Brexit, London may not be at that negotiating table. And it's not clear just how appealing a solo trade deal between the UK and China would be for Beijing.